here we have a Dell Alienware M14 uh, 3. This is the 2014 Haswell model with the GTX 765M. I'm going to open up and explore the insides. Remember, before you start, place your laptop on something soft so when you move around, it doesn't get scratched. And to start off, we're going to go to the back. You're going to have to remove four screws. We're going to need to remove four screws to remove the back cover. I already have removed the screws. So after removing the screws, you push forward. It is basically towards the mouse pad from the from your LCD screen towards your touchpad. So now we open up this to remove, that's to remove the DVD drive. You're going to have to remove four screws. I already removed the screws for the DVD drive. There's one, two, in there, three, and four. There's a tab holding the ribbon cable down. You need to lift the tab up, straight up. Be careful not to pull the tab up too high, or else you can rip off the tab, which I have. I ripped off one side. And then you just pull the ribbon cable out and lift up the DVD drive to remove it. Next, to remove the hard drive, there's four screws. Hold, uh, there's three screws holding the hard drive down. After remove those, remember to remove the cable connecting to the motherboard. There's a ribbon cable for it. Just lift it up diagonally and it should come out. Here uh, is the RAM. Push the pinch two sides outwards. The RAM will tilt up and just remove it. To put it in, put it the same way in. Now we're going to remove the battery. There's four screws holding the battery down. You need to disconnect the cable, the battery cable to the mother one before you remove the battery. And the battery tilts tilts sideways. It tilts one side first before it comes out. And to put it in, it's similar to the RAM, it tilts uh, it has to go up one side before it goes in and or out. Now we're gonna remove the keyboard cover. To do that, you're going to have to remove every screw on the back. The screws are named D and PI, I believe. There's a few of them.
Now that we have removed all the screws, we need to remove the wireless card as well. And there's a blue tab next to the wireless card. Remember to remove that as well, as um, I forgot. That's the M SATA slot. And there's another M SATA slot there, but that's normally for the 4G wireless card. You're going to need to flip the laptop around and get a prime tool. Now I'm going to remove the keyboard surrounding since we have removed all the screws. It comes off relatively pretty easy. I've got to remove the blue cable before that you need to remove. Try to remove it before you remove mm -hmm. the keyboards around in case you pull the cable. There. No. And you damage the keyboard. Can't see what you're doing. Your hands covering it. Or the power on. Do you see the cable? It is. Sort of. Four year screws removed comes up relatively pretty easy. We're going to grab, pu push your LCD mm, screen all no, the way back. Sleep, do you, no, I'm tilting the right way. Wait, I so there's a keyboard. I can't see the keyboard the cable inside, connected. Yeah. So don't lift it all the way up. I don't know if you might want to do this again, but... Why is it blurry? So blurry. Now it's not blurry. <laughs> that's the fan. That's the CPU, that's the graphic card. And that's about it. Is that it? Remember to... Put the screws aside so you remember where each screw goes as there's a few screws towards this to open it up. Remember to open things gently in case you forgot a screw so you don't damage anything else. And also remember to put on something soft so you move the laptop around and won't damage it. And that's about it and thanks for watching.